everyone! So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the five quick fixes any AutoCAD beginner might need as they work through a drawing. So the purge command. So this is going to be a really helpful command to know when your file starts to act a bit laggy. It could be that there's just too many things going on and maybe you have brought in some blocks or you have just a lot of unused items. So the simplest way to go about it is just type purge and press enter. And that's going to be when this window opens up. So if you press the plus sign, you can kind of expand upon these like Okay, we can actually delete a bunch of blocks that are not actually used in the file. There's going to be some layers we could delete to, that aren't being used in the file. Basically, anything that isn't being used in the file, you can actually just purge those. So get rid of them and purge checked items, purge all checked items and close. And that should be a quick fix on making your file just have a little bit less kind of things to go wrong and it won't hopefully be lagging as much. So the region command. So this is going to be a quick fix for if your drawing isn't displaying as it should. Now a lot of times you'll use this command if you've perhaps tried to do a hatch and it didn't actually fill and so you have all these little red um, circles everywhere all over your drawing and you can't get rid of them. The regen, regen command will fix that. Uh, another thing that it'll fix is it could be that maybe your arcs this is a fairly smooth arc right now, but it could be that maybe the arcs are showing really segmented or it starts to show not as a curve, but as kind of um, more geometric lines. And that's because it hasn't recognized that you are zoomed so far in that it needs to kind of regenerate the way the curve looks like in that zoomed in uh, approach. So the regen command is going to be really helpful to solve that. So basically it's just R-E-G-E-N, enter, and it will fix those problems because basically what you're telling AutoCAD to do is regenerate the view of your drawing. So the zoom extends command is going to be one that, especially when you're getting used to working in AutoCAD for the first time, it might be that you've brought in a block from somewhere or you've copied and pasted something and you can't find it or you're just kind of a bit lost in the, the ether of model space. The help the helpful way to kind of reorient yourself to figure out kind of where you are and what's located within your file is going to be the zoom extends command. So basically, if I type zoom, enter, I'm actually going to go down here and I can see that there's zoom and there's all these different things here. But if I press E, it will do the zoom extends, E. And so now it zooms all the way out and I can see that this toilet block that I had copied and pasted into this file, the reason it's not showing up is because it's huge. It is the wrong scale and it would need to be rescaled to, to make it fit within here. So again, that's one of those things of, again, maybe you're really lost in model space and you can't really find your drawing again. The easiest way to get back is Z or Z for zoom, and then E, enter. And it will zoom it back out. So I'm gonna delete this toilet, and let's do Z and E. And we've zoomed back in on the actual drawing. So this next command, it's the at sync command. So that's the attribute sync command. Um, basically, this is going to be one where if you have, a, say, a title block block, and if I go to the block editor, and maybe you're wanting to do some adjustments. So maybe we're going to actually move it where all of this information is up, kind of on the upper part of the, the drawing, so up there. So I can say save, save changes, okay 
And I look at my new version of the block and the lines and the labels have all moved, but all of these kind of attributes, which are those defined attributes that I can actually, you know, go in and enter here, are still showing up down here. So it feels like it actually hasn't done the changes. It has, it just needs to synchronize the changes within this block to the changes that happened in the block editor. So to do that, you just need to type ATT S Y N C enter. And we're going to click select and select this block and click yes. And that will move those attributes up to where they are in your, the edits that you made within the block editor. So this last quick fix is how to turn on and off the command line. Now with this version of AutoCAD, you can't always just start to type things, but sometimes you wanna make sure you have the command line. And sometimes it's really easy to accidentally close it. And this is something that I see a lot in beginners is that if it closes, they're not sure how to get it back. So there's a couple of ways to go about this. So if it's closed, you can actually do command line, enter, and it'll show back up. Or you can do control nine, and that's gonna be that shortcut to actually just close it, but it's also the shortcut to open it back up. So that's either with the command line and the command line hide commands, or the shortcut control nine. I believe it's command nine on Mac computers. So that's my top five quick fix commands for AutoCAD beginners. If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching.